welcome to today's video. Before I begin, I just want to apologise for my appearance because I'm aware I don't have makeup on, don't look my best. However, it's 30 degrees, I'm literally sweating just sitting here. So if I put makeup on, it'd be melting off my face anyway. Today's video is a little bit of a different one. I wanted to do a Q&A because I'm not doing anything this week and I just thought it would be really fun for you guys to get to know me and yeah answer any questions that you may have the first question which is probably going to be the longest one to answer just because i want to make sure that i answer it correctly for you and that you get the most out of it how did you join the travel group so i actually joined the travel squad uh at the beginning of the year it was at a time where i was a bit like lost with myself didn't know what i was going to do for the year I, you know, I had a group of friends, but, you know, we didn't always want to do the same things. People got boyfriends and yeah, we just, I just wanted to do something for me. After COVID and everything, I really didn't want to waste any more time <laughs> not doing anything. So yeah, I was on TikTok. I think my mum actually found it and she sent me this TikTok. I think it was on a For You page. Obviously her TikTok heard us talking about my situation and then you know how it works. Your phone listens to you and then magically pops up with the things that you're wanting. When I say that it has changed my life, it, it literally has. It was so unexpected and I was really apprehensive about it to begin with. I thought this group's gonna be a bunch of weirdos and yeah, I'm gonna, you know, not enjoy. Honestly, I was so wrong. Like, the people that I have met have all been the most genuine, lovely people I have ever met. And, the, like, I haven't met, obviously, everyone from the group, but the amount of people that I've met and, like, how lovely everyone is and how easy people are to get on with, it's just amazing. The first thing I've done was join the Travel Squad on Facebook. And then once you've been approved to the group, you can kind of do a little post about yourself and explaining your situation. And then the admins from the group will then comment um, suggestions of groups to join. Um, people will message you saying, oh, you know, I want to do this too. I'm from this area. Do you want to meet up? Things like that. One group chat was literally like 15 people. It was just like a Northamptonshire group chat. And then the other group was the, I think it was like East Midlands. And, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to put a message in the group chat, explain that I'm new to the group and then see what response I get. And honestly, like so many people message you, it's crazy. Like I remember having like 10 DMs that evening that I'd signed up and I was like, this is crazy. Like these people are like eager to me. They want to, you know, do things that I want to do. And I just, I thought I was like the only one in my situation. And, you know, it can make you feel really lonely if, you know, you want to do things that, you know, you don't think you'd be able to do on your own, that your friends may not want to do. I remember one of the first messages that I had was from Hannah, who I'm now this close with. Um, we hit it off. It's honestly like dating. Um, <laughs> we hit it off straight away. So I think she messaged me and said, you know, like, I'm in a really similar situation to you. I'm from Northamptonshire do you want to meet up and i was like yeah sure and we were both um we both joined the group around the same time and we were like right we'll go to the pub quiz as like our first meet so i was like okay shall i pick you up and she was like yeah and i was like oh my gosh i'm actually just about to pick a random stranger up in my car um <laughs> which we just thought was like mad but we'd had like you know a proper conversation through whatsapp and honestly, like from the moment that we met, we just got on. We've made so many memories together. And honestly, it's just like now to think back, that is how we met. It's just crazy. Then we had Naira, who's also another one of my very, very good friends. Um, she messaged me and asked if I wanted to meet up for a coffee. And we did exactly that. But the funniest thing is we went for a coffee at Costa in Sixfields and we were there for over the two hour parking limit which i didn't even know existed because you're in a coffee shop and you know didn't really pay attention to the miniature signs that they have <laughs> so we both got parking tickets i managed to appeal mine but i think naira actually had to pay and it was only sort of like a month or two after like obviously when we'd like been really good friends been doing things for quite a while i said 
you know when we went out that time did you get a parking ticket and she was like yeah so yeah we basically the first time we met we got a parking ticket together so i feel like we could not be friends after that the group actually have different admins that also run different events so i've been on events with marianne and emma they are all super cheap i think for the peak district camping the first time was 30 and then for the second time was 40 and you just have to bring your own tent and make new friends you take your own food or there's like a weather spoons that's near so yeah we all, all just end up doing fun things together um and it's very much down to you there's not you know that there's ideas of things that you can do but there's not really like a schedule um and that was the same with snowdonia really i think the snowdonia trip was 65 so again you just have to get there but that was in a hostel so obviously it's going to be a bit more um absolutely loved it there the hostel was brilliant and i would definitely do that trip again so if darren's holding it next year best believe i'm gonna be there i feel like i've done a lot of talking in that section because i just wanted to make it clear that tts is amazing and if anyone has any questions then just let me know it's literally such a fun way to make friends travel the world and yeah just do things you love right i'm gonna go into my second question before i actually bore you to death what football team do you support um i actually love watching the football and i love watching rugby however i do not support a specific team and i don't know if that's because i don't really have anyone around me who kind of watches it um or not religiously anyway so therefore i don't know i just feel like normally your family members like my mum hasn't really been into football the whole of her life so she has more recently um but yeah i don't have a team so any suggestions guys i just feel like i want to be a true fan i feel like if i was going to support anyone it'd probably be mk dons because i was born in milton Keynes, and that just makes the most logical sense even though they're not the best team in the world oh okay i've got what would you do if you won the lottery <laughs> i think the first thing i would do is probably just go on the most spontaneous holiday ever um, and just really celebrate you know just go wild because you know that feeling you're never gonna get again do you know what i mean so yeah i think i'd just go mad um i'd buy myself a nice car um buy myself a nice house um give some money to friends family um and i'd also donate to animal charities as well and also mental health charities as well you know i have struggled with mental health massively um over the past few years and i think you know it would be amazing if i could do a huge donation to mind um who've been able to help me and also serenity as well yeah just go enjoy travel the world because that's what i'm here for okay so the next question is are you single <laughs> so the answer to that question is yes i am very much single um i wouldn't say ready to mingle because i am just kind of chilling this year i'm traveling a lot and yeah just uh, having a bit of self-care self-love this year um but yeah hopefully a man in the future fingers crossed who knows what is your dream holiday dream holiday see this is a difficult one i feel like i've been really tested with these questions dream holiday right so this is going to sound basic as anything but i've always 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 wanted to go to bali um it looks insane and i see bali vlogs all the time on travel channels and i just think yeah that's a bit of me i would love to go um but i'd say realistically my next holiday that i would like to go on that i would like to book would probably be ibiza just because I've never been before, I'd love a really, really fun girls' holiday there with, you know, DJs and, like, the beach clubs and things. And I know that that can be really pricey. But, yeah, that, that's the next thing on my mind, I think, um, for 2023. Okay, so I've got summer or winter holidays. A hundred million, million, trillion percent summer. Winter for me 
is like hell just think why would you want to be in the cold i've never ever been skiing but I, that's something that i really want to try in the next couple of years so i think i might do some like ski lessons in milton Keynes because they have a dry slope there um and then see how i find it um, and then if it all goes well, maybe I will book a skiing holiday. Oh, I like this one. City break or beach break? So it's hard because <laughs> at the moment I feel like I have done a lot of city breaks and I've really, really enjoyed them because I love exploring. Bit of a tricky one. I think I'm going to say beach because I haven't done a beach in so long and it's something that I really, really do want to do. So I would, therefore I would opt beach over city. But city breaks are amazing. If you want to get away cheap over the weekend, city breaks the one. Next place that I am traveling. So the next place that I'm traveling in the UK um, is actually going to be Essex. This Sunday I'm going to Essex with my nan. She is going to visit some family. Um, I've never actually been to Essex before, I'm going to Brentwood and then in a couple of weeks time I'm actually going to York with Hannah and my mum will be coming up with us as well because we've got some family friends who live up that way too. Abroad I am going to Sorrento at the end of September. I'm actually going on a proper holiday, I'm going for six nights and seven days and when i say i cannot wait honestly the, the excitement is unreal i've always wanted to go to italy and sorrento especially the photos look insane um and yeah i'm gonna do a little bit of solo traveling when i go i'm actually going with family um but because we're there for so long i'm gonna do like little day trips on my own um, and hopefully meet up with people from tts wow this one i feel like i'm at a job interview goals for the next five years uh that's scary um i would like to be in a higher paid job um so that i can fund more fun trips with tts i would like to have met someone um and not settled down because <laughs> gal is going traveling baby um i would love to do some interrailing maybe like over a year five years for me i'll be 26 so i feel like that's a good time to start slowing down but before then there's a lot i want to do so we'll see where are you from so i am from a little place in northamptonshire called high and ferrers i was actually born in milton Keynes, but i live in high now um for those of you who don't know i have also lived in wales for quite a chunk of my life because my mum had me quite young she went to university took me with her i know bloody mad woman um and then we lived there for quite a few years and then i went to school there and everything and then i came back here um around september when i was starting college what is the best way to budget and find the cheapest trips now i <laughs> had no clue how to kind of find out the cheapest ones until i join the group i the best thing for flights is skyscanner i live by skyscanner because it finds the cheapest flights out of all the different airlines um and yeah it's just reliable um and then all of my accommodation has been done through a few different sites actually i've used airbnb booking.com and more recently expedia um I'll kind of compare the three and then see what I can get for the best price. I think though sometimes hotels can do really really good prices if you're just going for a night or two. Um, so yeah it's definitely worth looking like sometimes Travel Lodge have like different deals um, so it's definitely worth having a look at them as well. I obviously am privileged to be in a situation where I can go on all of these little trips however I'm not the richest person in the world and I still have a lot of outgoings so when i am looking at trips and stuff i kind of do like aim to do like one trip a month it doesn't have to be a big trip it can be a little little trip um where i'm really spending 30 to 60 to actually book it this kind of works for me and my situation but obviously if you've got more money to do stuff then honey go do it 
I just wanted to say as well, obviously, when I am posting all of these things, I would never ever want to make anyone feel like my life is in any way perfect because honestly back to the time where i had nothing going for me or very little going for me i would sit on my phone go through instagram stories watch people's youtube channels and feel so low it's not all sunshine and rainbows i've had to work very hard to get to where i am now obviously tts has given me an unbelievable amount of confidence and i think you know if you do have the ambition to do it then just do it because you've got nothing to lose at the end of the day I'm gonna end this video here because I feel like we have discussed a range of topics um if you do have any more questions and obviously feel free to message me on instagram um and i'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have just want to say thank you because all of your support honestly means the world and, and i'll see you soon for a brand new video